What you guys got another video here for you in this one we're going to be taking a look at building your own super fast flash drive now if you've got a flash drive maybe one of these slower type flash drives now this is an ultra type flash drive fast pretty fast uh, but there's more faster ones on the market nowadays we've got ones like this usb 3.1 uh, sandisk extreme uh, go and this is a super fast uh, flash drive you can see here up to uh, 200 megabytes per second read speeds and uh, 150 megabytes per second write speeds and that's pretty fast so this uh, writes 35 times faster uh, than a normal uh, type of usb uh, 2.0 uh, flash drive so if you're using one of the old slower type flash drives then something like this is pretty awesome the problem is they are pretty expensive and uh, I bought this uh, a long time ago. I bought a bunch of them and I've still got a few of them in the packet. And uh, believe it or not, I do use all different types of flash drives a lot. Uh, but for generally day-to-day -day stuff, uh, for like Windows and stuff, I generally use things like this. Uh, but if you want to build yourself one, uh, then something like this is going to be really useful. And you can pick these up uh, for like £10, which is pretty cheap. Now, obviously, you're going to need to get yourself... Uh, one of these to put inside and uh, this is 256 gigabytes now you can pick these up uh, different types of these this is a data uh, but there's super fast ones out there if you want to really spend the money you can go for a super fast one but this should uh, suffice for what we need to do this is one that I'd line around and I'll be using it in uh, this particular type of build so we've got this here and I'm going to get this out now there's different types of these as well out on the market some of them are better than others so do your research i'll leave the links for all this stuff in the video description just in case you want to uh, treat yourself there in the new year and get yourself one of these uh, but these are pretty decent to have now if you're into pc repair or you've got a load of tools that you like to use uh, like pc repair tools and stuff like that then something like this is going to be really really useful and uh, i'm trying to get everything out of the box here and I'm doing this uh, speaking to you as we go here, so it's not a voiceover sort of jobby. So we've got a little screwdriver in here, and we've also got some screws and some other stuff inside here. I think that'll do probably a warranty or something like that inside here as well. There we go, user manual. So that's what we get inside the kit. You're going to get yourself the user manual here, and this tells you all about your enclosure. And you can it tells you here the uh, B plus M key compatible, which means it's going to have to have the two notches uh, on it, okay, for this particular model. And there is ones out there, so be careful because there's all different types. And then you've got the uh, B key uh, B key compatible as well, which is the single notch. This is only uh, for compatibility for the B and not the B plus M. So it tells you here. Oh yeah, sorry, it just says uh, compatible for B or B plus M. So that's what it's compatible for. There, and it tells you how to basically do it. It's pretty self-explanatory stuff. So uh, let's get this out. This is the actual cable here, which we're gonna need uh, for this. So I'm just gonna pull this out here. And uh, I'm gonna pull that bell of plastic out of the way. So let's just get this open. And again, I'm not gonna edit none of this. This is gonna go up as we are speaking here. Now the cable is not too bad, as you can see here. Pretty reasonable. Uh, so it's gonna give you a little bit more than what this would give you. I mean, something like this is gonna restrict you to uh, the, what it is here. It would help if I took out the actual thing here so let me see this is it here it's made of uh, aluminium or aluminum if you're in the US and as you can see it looks pretty decent nice and lightweight and for 10 pounds you're getting an aluminium type unit here and you've got your two screws that will go on here try and get a close-up there so you've got your two screw holes here and you've got your cable which will go in the end there like so 
and there we go you just need to put in your drive so let's go ahead and get that into the actual unit itself so I'm gonna uh, what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna get this out And this is it here, tiny little drive as you can see here. And uh, it has to be compatible. So you're gonna have to make sure that you've got the right type here. This is jammed right in there. These blister packs are a nightmare. There we go. So basically that's the drive there. Tiny little drive, but it has to have the double notch on it here, as you can see. So that is by A Data. I'll leave the link for these in the video description, as I've said. I'm just going to leave that to one side here. Okay, so let's uh, get this off. Now, it comes with a screwdriver in here. We just need to get this front plate off here, like so. And then this was, will let us slide this out of here. So here we have our little tiny board. You can see that's all there is to it really. It's just a little tiny board here where your actual um, drive is gonna slide into this here. So let me just get the screws out ready. And uh, the screws are just gonna hold the drive in. And I'll show you the speeds at the end of it so you can see. It might not be as fast as that USB flash drive it might not be, but we'll see. That's gonna put the drive in here. Now I'm not sure if this is gonna screw down on to this little brass rivet here, so let's have a look. Okay, so we've got that in. And that clips in. So you'll see how that goes there. Now I know it goes like that because I tried it the other way and it didn't work. So that's how I know. <laughs> and uh, it wasn't because I looked at the user manual. I tried it the other way, the way you would normally do it for a normal motherboard, but it's uh, slightly different here. It does come with its own screwdriver here, but this is going to be good enough. There we go. So that should hold that in position. Okay, so let's get this into the housing. Now this side needs to come to the open end here. So what we want to do, you'll see a little groove at the bottom there. I think it's going to be something like this like so and that will slot in and then what we need to do is put our fascia on just make sure that's around the right way which it is like so and then we can offer up our two screws And I'm going to use their little screwdriver here. And uh, that's in. Here we go. Of course, I think this one works as well. But I'll soon try. Yeah, it does. So either one of these. prefer to use a better screwdriver set there we go so this little screwdriver set here I'll leave the link for that in the video description but that's all in there now and we can now safely put in our cable and, and we're good to go so the three items I'm going to be using is this here which is uh, an enclosure as you can see nice enclosure by uh, Sebrant. It's a 1099 
in English money, which is uh, pretty cheap. It does have an LED light on the front there. It's a USB 3.0 and it's an aluminium uh, enclosure and that will be uh, aluminum if you're in the US. But basically, yeah, pretty decent bit of kit. does come with a nice long cable as well. Now also what you might want to uh, take a look at here is what it's compatible with. Now it's compatible with the B and M key edge connector, which is the top one, what you see there with the two little notches out of it. Now, if you've got the B key edge connector, then it's not gonna be compatible or the M edge connector, it's not compatible either. So you just need to make sure that you've got the right uh, version uh, of uh, M.2 uh, SSD, okay? So let me just show you which one I'm using. So I'm going to be using this one here, which is uh, Adata's SU800, and I had this available, so it's pretty cheap. You can see it's $42. So all in all, it's not going to cost too much. You're looking at around about, say, $52 for the whole thing, which is not too bad for 256, uh, 256 gigabytes of space, and you're also going to get those nice fast speeds as well. Now, looking at the the actual um, SanDisk Extreme Go, you can see this is around about $38. It's on sale at the moment. And uh, so you're looking at around about that price for 128 gigs. So if you want to get the higher size, it's obviously gonna cost you more money. Now, $50 is for the Extreme Pro. I've got the Extreme Go version, but the Extreme Pro version is gonna be a bit faster. I'm not sure how much faster that is, but we'll take a look here and see, you can see the speeds here, they're saying that it's 420 and up to 380, uh, but they can vary, so you just gotta be careful um, on the speeds that they claim here, and that's USB uh, 3.1, which is a more up-to-date modern uh, type of USB port. Now, if you don't have those on your system and you've only got USB 3.0, then you're not gonna get those speeds, so just bear that in mind as well. Uh, so. Let me just come down here. This one here, which we got here, you can you can see the speeds which I mentioned uh, earlier on. So what we're going to do here is take a look at some of the cheaper ones that you can buy as well. So it just depends on what you uh, want to uh, buy. But these ones here are what uh, are the norm nowadays, and they're pretty fast, as you can see here. Okay, so I've got some files here. These are 4K files. And uh, you can see, I'm just going to copy them across to my drive here. So this is the real test, uh, what we're going to do here. So I'm just going to open this up. And basically, I'm just going to drag these across. And uh, just going to give you a size estimate of these here. So these are 1.57 gigabytes, the whole lot. So let's just quickly go across to that drive. And you can see there how quick that's going across. It's very fast indeed, which isn't too bad. So let me go ahead and plug in the uh, USB flash drive now and see uh, what the speed differences are with the flash drive to see whether it can uh, compete with the super fast uh, drive that we've created here. So here we are with the uh, 128 gigabyte flash drive and uh, I'm just going to copy these files across here and we'll see how quick that is there we go so let's copy those files across so what I'm going to do here is just give this a test as well. So I'm going to give this a test and uh, we are in our E drive here for the USB flash drive. So I'll do the USB flash drive first and I'm just going to do the S sequential reads and writes here uh, for this drive so we can see. Now you can see here the speeds are the sequential reads are 189.5 and the writes are 58.55 which is pretty good speeds uh, for a USB flash drive. It's not what it claimed to be on the package in there, but I'm not sure why that is. But this is the actual USB here. So what I'm gonna do is change this over to our enclosure, 
and we'll give that a test now so I've got the enclosure plugged in uh, to the system and I wanted to test what the enclosure speeds is which is the separate uh, so we're gonna have a look here this is the one we're looking at right now and you can see the speeds here is the 436.7 reads uh, which is very very good indeed and the writes should be pretty good as well so we'll just let this uh, read part finish here and then it'll move on to the writes now this is uh, how fast it can read and write data to uh, that enclosure and the same thing goes for the uh, USB flash drive so we'll just let that finish off so there we go four 404.1 uh, write speeds which is really phenomenal it really is it's a really fast speed for an enclosure and again you can keep all your data on here and it will be super fast uh, data transfer from uh, any device there at those speeds those read and write speeds so pretty much that is it for this video that's uh, how you can build your own super fast uh, flash flash drive using uh, the tools that I showed you here. My name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. I'll leave all the links in the video description for you if you're interested in building your own uh, super fast USB flash drive. Anyway, thanks again for watching and thanks for your continued support. I shall see you again for another video real soon. Bye for now. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the big red subscribe button on my YouTube channel and hit the bell notification button next to that to be notified when we upload new videos.